Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is uh, day 23 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, I am here back in San Diego. With flying was a mess, and I don't know. I, I tried to rest today, but didn't rest too much, so I'm still just tired. I, I want to go to bed early because I have another hike tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I am not a smart man, so, you know, that is what it is. But yeah, uh, let's take a look at today's poem, and uh, you know we have a medium with today, though, so hopefully it'll be interesting, but not too interesting, so I could go to bed. Uh, let's go. Twenty fifty four, two best non overlapping defense. Okay, so you have uh, a zero index. Da -da -da -da, star da -da -da. You can choose at most two non overlapping events, such as such to some of the eyes maximized. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean I think this is kind of I I, I want to say standardish, but not really. Um, I mean it. It is a, a, a sweep line algorithm, right? Uh, you just kind of sweep left and right. And then there's this idea. So there are two main ideas you have to kind of wrap your head around for this one that I would recommend. One is, as I say, the sweep line, right? Going from left to right. And in this case, um, I like to think about left, the left side and the right side. It's just like, um, you know, you have a line, right? This, the line that you're sweeping, and then you have the left side and the right side. And they both kind of are just like different world, different situations, right? Um, and then here, the, the key thing is that ties them together is kind of the dynamic programming, right? Because when you sweep line, uh, when your line that you're sweeping with, um, it it sweeps off like an ending of, a, of an event, then what that means is that um, everything to the right of that line can now use the best of anything on the left side, right? And in this case, you only need two things. So, um, so it should be pretty straightforward. There, um, there are variations where you can... You know, you have to kind of uh, think about more than two things. Um, I think that may be even a hard. I vaguely remember seeing something similar or some idea that's similar, but I could be making things up. Uh, you could call me AI, I guess, if I, if I made it up. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe, you know, I hallucinate too, I suppose. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I, I'm not getting enough sleep. So, uh, you know, maybe I thought it, maybe it was in my dreams. Do AI dreams? Uh, do robot sheeps dream? I don't know. But in any case, uh, alright, yeah, let's actually implement this thing, right? Uh, how do we want to, well, first we want to sort event. Uh, there are a couple of ways you can think about it. Um, yeah, I mean, you, there are a couple of ways you can think about writing this. Uh, I think I've, I think you can write, like, for, what's it, start and why you in the fans, right? Um, and maybe, uh, name of it, just say, do, 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 right? So you can say, um, this thing, we have the starting, a V, and then, uh, do, 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 right? And maybe like the ending and a V, you have to kind of differentiate those, though. So maybe you could do like, um, one and negative one or something, but, uh, I'm trying to think, though. Because so I think in this case, it actually should be one, negative one. Because in this case, then now, if uh, if the two numbers are in the same space, then you want the the starting to first because they overlap, right? Um, you can also just do like plus one or something so that they're kind of like not inclusive or whatever. But uh, but these are things that you can play around with and experiment. I think uh, I think one thing that is maybe too common is that people think there's only one way to do these things, and really I don't I disagree with that, and that's why. Um. You know, two things, right? One is, that's why you have to experiment and play around so that you get a deep understanding. So you could, you know, figure out why certain ways is better. And sometimes maybe it just doesn't matter, right? Like, you know, um, you could have inclusive bounds, exclusive bounds, whatever. As long as you're consistent and if you are kind of able to understand it um, using those bounds a little bit better, then that's fine, right? Like, uh, like the one that I always say is like binary search. Uh, there's like so many ways to do binary search, um, and uh, the two two things about that. Right, one is that um, as long as everyone's consistent, it's fine. I don't really care. Right, like in terms of like if you're working with a team, you don't want like half the team to implement binary search in one way, and then the other team implements in another way, right? Or another part of the team, because then that's just like you know, then it's just confusion all over the place. So consistency is king. But other than that. Uh, you know, if you're doing for yourself and just experimenting, some people, 
from my um, from what I can tell, some people just understand things a little bit better in certain ways for sort whatever reason, right? I, I don't know what the reason is. I don't know that I, I understand it, but that's true, right? Because for me, it's, I, I get inclusive balance. And people tell me all the time that, like, no, no, the other thing is more. And I'm like, yeah, okay, well, then, you know, you do you, you know? Anyway, now I forgot what problem we're solving, and let's get to back to it. Um, yeah, okay. So then, yeah, then now we can and sort. We, this, actually, uh, this sorting is terrible because I kind of messed up. This should be negative one we and I don't even think the starting really matters really or like the we doesn't have to be in, in the starting but uh but you know we'll have it for now maybe we have a best is equal to negative infinity we have at least two events so that way can it be oh at most two so you can always have at least one okay fine uh but yeah and then uh best one event maybe or something right and then now um yeah now we go for um time which we don't really care about right uh, uh, uh this is t for type and then v in events right so if type is equal to negative one then that means that this is a starting time and that means that we want to process this right uh in the sense that okay this is a start event, right? That then two things can happen, or well, maybe it depends how you want to write it. But this is a start event. That means that um, can we combine this with a previously ended event to give us the best, right? So, so that's basically what we're doing, right? And and this is gonna be best as you go to max best um best one event, or maybe this is best one event is a little bit weird, but plus B, right? Um, and yeah, I think that's maybe it. And now we, uh, this is is an end event, right? And now uh, let's set it up so that the future the future can use it or something like that, right? And here then now you, you have two things to update best one event is you go to max you know best one event and then we right? And then the other thing is uh, itself can be just, you know, if we only do that. So then now we just return best. Uh, I, I guess I just forgot to declare it. I mean, clearly. This one's easy to fix. <laughs> All right, it uh, looks okay. Let's give it a fix. I made hope I didn't make a silly mistake. And I didn't this time, which is, uh, you know, always a nice thing to hear. Uh, that's it. That's all I have for this one. Oh, wait, I have to... Uh, I don't know why I keep doing this. I think I'm just rushing it because I want to go to bed. I don't know why I'm so tired. I mean, I know why I'm so tired today. But I didn't really do that much. I just kind of walked around uh, and running errands. I guess I walked eight miles. Uh, okay, maybe that is... No, but I guess I just didn't sleep that much yesterday because I had to... And then I had to drive right afterwards. Also, this this just updated to 10 miles, so I don't know. Maybe that is a lot. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for this... Oh, I forgot to ask um, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. So what's the complexity here, right? I mean, it's just so sorting. This is the big one. Everything else is a for loop that does like all one things. So yeah, it's gonna be n log n time, o of n space because the you know for every event we we add two things to here, and that's it. That's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.